Before configuring bidirectional NAT and an internal server, let's look more in depth at the internal server function and NAT easy IP function. With the internal server function, a mapping between a private IP address and port number pair and a public IP address and port number pair is configured on a NAT device. A public IP address is converted to a private IP address. In this way, a host on the Internet can access an internal server on a private network. In real-world applications, public network users need to access a private network server, for example, a web or FTP server. However, the NAT device working in BASIC or HAT NAT mode cannot dynamically establish NAT entries for NAT sessions initiated by the public network users. As a result, attempts to access the private network server fail. The internal server function is used to solve this problem. With the NAT Easy IP function, a NAT device uses an interface address as an IP address in an address pool. This function is used to mitigate the limited number of IP addresses in a public address pool. By default, the NAT device requires the IP address assigned to an interface to be unique in a NAT address pool. However, an enterprise network has only a limited number of public IP addresses, and enterprise users are restricted in the number of public IP addresses for which they can apply. To make full use of the public IP addresses, the NAT Easy IP function was introduced. Next, let's look at the networking requirements for configuring bidirectional NAT and the internal server. A web server is deployed in a company. NAT device is configured to allow both the intranet and internet hosts to access the web server. The company is assigned only to two public IP addresses, 11.11.11.6 and 11.11.11.1, with 24 bitmasks. The following figure shows the network deployment. The intranet web server is connected to the internet through NAT device. The web server is assigned a private IP address, 192.168.1.2, and a public IP address, 11.11.11.6, each with a 24-bit mask. An interface connecting NAT device to the Internet is assigned an IP address, 11.11.11.1, with a 24-bit mask. NAT Easy IP is configured to reuse the preceding interface IP address in an IP address pool. The internal and external network segments are 192.168.1.0 and 12.1.1.0, respectively, each with a 24-bit mask. Users can send a request to the public IP address 11.11.11.6 to access the internal web server. Before configuring the device, let's look at the configuration roadmap. Step 1. Configure basic NAT functions. This step involves creating a NAT instance and a NAT address pool in easy IP mode. Step 2. Configure an internal server. Step 3. Configure a NAT traffic diversion policy based on ACL traffic classification rules. Step 4. Apply the NAT traffic diversion policy to a specified outbound interface that requires NAT conversion. Step 5. Configure a static route. Now let's look at how to configure the device. Create a simplified NAT instance named NAT1. Assign an IP address to an outbound interface, and then configure a NAT address pool in easy IP mode. Next, configure an internal server. The internal server is assigned a public IP address is 11.11.11.6 and a private IP address 192.168.1.2 Configure a NAT traffic diversion policy based on ACL traffic classification rules. Configure two ACL rules. ACL 3001 is used to allow internal hosts to access the web server using 11.11.11.6, and ACL 3002 is used to allow internal hosts to access the Internet. Bind the configured traffic rules in ACL 3001 and ACL 3002 to the interfaces connecting NAT device to the internal network and the Internet, respectively. In the last step, configure a default route to the Internet. This allows the internal users to access the Internet, 